It was nearly a year ago when Delegate Heather Mazir first asked her colleagues what they knew about Marcella Shale. The answers range from, was he a jazz player, to, isn't he a running back for the Baltimore Ravens? Legislators quickly learned that the Marcella Shale formation has little to do with music or sports. CTV News recently joined the House Environmental Matters Committee on a trip to Western Maryland and West Virginia to learn about the potential energy source and its risks. In our exclusive four-part series, we take a look at fracking and its relationship to the Marcellus Shale Formation. Turn on a gas stove or furnace and you may give little thought as to its energy source. But companies from as far away as Texas and Colorado have been reviewing data in their quest to lease mineral rights and drill test wells in western Maryland. It's all part of what oil companies are hoping is a boom in natural gas. The treasure trove sits underground in what's known as the Marcella Shale Formation, which follows the Appalachian Mountains from New York to western Virginia. The Appalachian Basin is the most undrilled basin in the world and therefore that means we still have great horizons of uh, capacity to, to take care of. The Marcella Shale, it could be our rock of ages for the United States. When Delegate Heather Mazir first heard about the formation, she brought the issue to her colleagues in the House Environmental Matters Committee. Well, I had um, viewed, like many people had, flammable tap water on a 60-minute segment and started scratching my head saying, wow, that's, that sounds like a pretty dangerous situation. And it was really unfortunate that it was happening in states so close to us. And water has no boundaries. And so Last session, we had a bill introduced to create a study on Marcella Shale before moving forward. That bill did not pass, but the governor, as you know, uh, put together a commission. The recommendations of that commission will all come to this committee. So. Uh, I thought it was important for the committee to come out, listen to the citizens about their concerns. We're going to go see an actual um, Marcella so uh, site drill. In August, the committee took a bus tour to the region to investigate the issue firsthand. Along the way, members got a look at the sprawling countryside in Garrett and Allegheny counties, where you'll find both the tallest mountains in the state and the fewest people per square mile. We have a lot of things here you can't find anywhere else in the state such as the highest mountain, waters that flow north and don't go into the Chesapeake Bay, which a lot of people don't realize because they think all the water in Maryland goes into the bay. It doesn't. We have the highest waterfalls. We have the most snowfall. We have the only alpine skiing resort in the state. On the bus trip, delegates watch documentaries regarding hydraulic fracturing or fracking. The recently discovered process combines horizontal drilling with blasts of water mixed with chemicals. The high-pressure blasts then fracture the shale and release gas. The process would be used in the Marcella Shale Formation, and Maryland is one of several states in the region that stands to profit from the drilling. And tomorrow, in part two of the series on the Marcella Shale Formation, we continue our journey with the House Environmental Matters Committee. We'll take a look at a West Virginia site where they've begun the fracking process and a search for natural gas buried deep underground.